Hello and welcome to this video on Try Hack Me to the room called Intro to Offensive Security. Hack your first website in a legally safe environment and experience it all as an ethical hacker's job. So this is what we're gonna do. The 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 title is Hack Fake Bank. So uh, <laughs> how lovely. So we have three different flows here. The very first one is, uh, is the hacking part. The two other parts is information. And the room is uh, 59 days old, so it is rather new. Not about only 4,072 users is on this room. So, yeah, I don't know how many will visit it, but you know, I'm going to do it anyways. So the machine is started, and we can just go ahead and just basically say ping the machine room itself. That was not the machine room, so let me just copy the IP address. There we go, and whoops, let's just ping it, and the server is up. So what we're gonna do in this room here is that we're gonna start the machine, open a terminal, and uh, they they tell us that the terminal is a command line tool. Yeah, it is. You know, this video is um, is probably. The video you're gonna watch when you are really new, so I I suggest you go ahead and do some of the other rooms. Well, I think the best idea is go to learn and then go to the learning path here in the top, and then pick the one called pre security, and then pick the one called uh, complete beginner. That will be the right course of action for you. However, this room here we're gonna try and do find hidden pages on the web page. I have no idea what's going on, so let's see what it is. The IP address, it's a bank, and it's emulating that we have a some sort of, you know, can we interact with any of this? You know, this is this is another way you Yeah, it's 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 all empty links. You should really know everything about web more or less before you go ahead and do security because this is a web security. We can see that we we, we have some bills we, we paid and it doesn't really seem that I can do any sort of interactions with any parts of the site here, which is fine. But what I wanted to do is to scan. Can we find any other folder here? Can, can we do that? And this is going to do that with a tool called GoBuster. So let's go ahead and say go buster directories on the IP address, uh, then I copied the IP address that I just typed. Well, that's well, the path, I guess I should call it. And then the um, user share word list. And then we're going to do, whoops, not that one. The directory dear buster. And we're going to do directory. Uh, medium and we're gonna run the tool like that so now we're gonna try a lot of different paths so we can do like slash images slash CSS slash JS and stuff like that I'm gonna use this directory list medium it's okay in, in size while this runs let's go back and look at the page here and it's it's gonna it's gonna try you know different kind of uh, you know, paths and, and to find, you know, I don't know if, if they wanted to use some specific um, web page or anything. Uh, let me see. I mean, specific directory um, to look for the different paths. And I don't know, because it seems like what they wanted to do is to verify that we can find stuff like. Um, bank transfer and it does actually tell us to go to bank transfer i'm pretty sure that the word bank transfer is inside the word list called word list here i'm just trying to see is there a uh, is there a can i download that word list they're using or am i just left here with my own it seems that 
what they might want us to do is to use the uh, the attack box, which is accessible. Is this accessible here at all? Show split window. Yeah. Nope. So where did I find that word list? This is generally pretty annoying. Uh, she no. Well, we know that it is what it is. Uh, and we found nothing, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is basically just for the sake of this video, I I don't have the word list. I don't know where they got it from. Hmm. Uh, use the. Yeah. Well, they do tell us to do that and say. Well, this is the thing, you know, when you're doing the try hack me rooms, even if I read the text, it doesn't really tell us that, you know, we need to use this word list that text. I don't know where they have it, but they might want us to use this attack box, which is not available on this room. I, 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 I don't know. It, it's a little weird, but... Anyways, we, we're just gonna take this, you know, as a, we found it because we ran the tool. So bank transfer, we're gonna go ahead and put that in front of it. And we can see that this page is coming up here and we can not interact with anything. Well, we can go back. And let me just see uh, what happens when I do this. So we're gonna do send back, send from, and the amount so we can do some transfer at least let me just go stop this scan because we obviously have the wrong word list for this and i don't know where they they want us to, to pick up the all of word list so it says when you transfer money to the account go back to the bank account what is the answer shown in the balance page so we're gonna transfer two thousand dollars so let's go ahead and just pick this page right here so we're gonna transfer two thousand dollars and we're going to do that to the account of 2276, so to account. And it's going to be sent from uh, to this, sorry, yeah, from the bank account. Let me just read this from and to 8881, whatever. And we're going to click the button and we have successful transfer. We're going to go back again and we can see the amount is this amount here, which I, is that what we want to post? No. <laughs> What is the answer shown your bank balance page? Congratulations, bank hack. Oh, bank hacked. All right, so that's what I want to tell us. And if you were a pen test or security consultant, this is an exercise performed for companies to test vulnerabilities. Yes, I understand that. Terminate the machine by clicking the red button. Okay, so let's terminate the machine. Okay, so just a quick shout out to try hack me where did you find the word list and please you know people did install their own you know linux kaylee at some point you know maybe it's a good idea to share it anyways let's go to what is offensive security okay so the text is basically telling us that in short offensive security is the process of breaking into computer systems exploiting software box finding loopholes in applications to gain unauthorized access to them. To be the hacker, you need to, you need to behave like a hacker, hacker, finding vulnerabilities and recommendation patches before the cyber criminal does, as you did in this room. So this is basically, you know, the offensive versus the defensive. Think about it this way. The offense is always a step ahead. And why is that? Why can the defense not be one step ahead? Okay, I'm gonna explain this to you in the most easy manner possible. Uh, the reason why the offensive or the attacker or the hacker, whatever you call it, is one step ahead always is because they have no, they have nothing to lose, right? They have no system to defend. They have no time limit, no time frame. They are not uh, there to patch your system. They are there to attack your system. And with the constant 
you know, development of technologies and 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 new stuff always being put online. Basically, they can observe that, you know, from uh, the outside, and they just have all the time. We have no way of knowing how many offensive hackers is looking at our web page, our servers. We just know they are, and and basically the only thing we can do is try to do our best to keep them out. But they will know everything we know, and they're gonna know a bit more because they're gonna observe everything. It's the best explanation I can give you right now. Careers in, um, well, there is, I'm just complete this so we can complete the room. Um, there are, there are different, you know, people that, you know, been reading stuff here on Try Hack Me. Paul, Cassandra, and Brandon used Try Hack Me to land the first job. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe that is the case. You know, I know it's success stories for Try Hack Me. What I really want to say is that anyone can land a job in security if you have the right, right mindset curiosity and and you know the basis of how to use computer basically you can get into it because there are many different jobs where you can um where you can work with security in a way uh, that doesn't require a deep technical skill there are many different careers in security you can become a teacher like i am and if you used to do that you know it's um it's a never-ending road, uh, constantly going upwards, and it's just, yeah. Uh, you can become pen tester, you can become a red teamer, play as a role as an adversary, and you could be a security engineer, design and and stuff like that, but that's not really all the roles you can do. You can also become, you know, uh, responsible for programming or for security in a company in a way you know pen testing is 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 a i wouldn't call it a a good shot of you know as a title where i'm from it's probably more known in the states because everything is competitive and you don't want to you want to tell you come the company that's going to pen test you your vulnerabilities so it becomes more like a white hat attack so, so what I'm saying is, depending on where you are in the world, there are different kind of careers. I'm not really gonna say which it is. You should know what your career is in the world you're from. So, I think this video was uh, pretty interesting. We did it. We completed it, and we didn't really have to do anything specific. I don't know where the word list is. I'm sorry for that, but I'm just thinking that maybe this should share in some way, or because. Some of us actually have real machines installed, ready to be used for our hacking stations. So that's about it. So I just hope you liked this video and you learned something today. So if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave a comment below. I'm gonna get back to it as fast as I can. I'm just gonna say take care and see you out there.